She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. The same curve. I only run over that. Yeah, I think I found a place, but I'm not gonna tell you about it just yet. Naughty boy. I have the best patties ever. I'm starving. I'm so tired, guys. I don't know, my sleeping is messed up. Okay, so first to drink today, I have. I don't know what this is, Colombiana, but it's really cold. Oh, there's gonna be a snowstorm, I know. This is chicken, bismillah. No, I can't fast. <laughs> I know you're gonna think, uh, no, it's true because like I explained yesterday, yes. I have to take medications that like I need to drink water. Um, I tried fasting and I just like felt so dizzy because like I couldn't drink water. And I'm like, how am I gonna take my medications? Like, I can't do it, you know? Yeah, I bought some new clothes, but they're kind of big. I bought a size up. Just in case. Look at my, my head's peeking up. Natalie, I have to practice the way I practice and not have to answer to anybody. That's it, that's all. I find I look like I'm like my, like 50, if I'm honest. I look happier. I'm just tired right now. It usually takes like a few days for my body to readjust. Like, after sitting on a flight for like 14 hours, even just like after like five or six hours, my legs start to like, my, I don't know. It's like I had compression socks on, but my legs feel so stiff and swollen after for about three days. I'm parked in the same spot as yesterday. Yeah, for now I have no choice. Well, if it's where I want to go. Yeah. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Sorry, oh my gosh. Give me a minute, okay? Because this thing wants to fall off. I need a new sticky. <laughs> having a wardrobe malfunction <laughs> and I just got homesick because whenever you get accustomed to something leaving it is hard no matter what it is even when I was in Katimovic and I had to leave after only like was it seven and a half, seven and a half months or something excuse me I was traumatized I was like I don't want to leave you guys and now like a year and a half like my pets it's like my heart's broken but from here my heart's broken if I'm over there sometimes because I miss some things here so no I'm never leaving Sam Reginald, you're doing the right thing, you're prioritizing. Well, that's the thing, like, if I came back here, like, the thing is, is if I came back here, like, for my health, you know? I have to actually take care of that. <laughs> and it's just overwhelming right now, all, all the things I have to do to correct my life, you know? <sighs> so, what all I really feel like doing is honestly bed rotting and watching movies like Motel Hell and eating junk food, which I know is not, that's not a way to live all the time. You can live like that sometimes. So that gives me hope. No, I hate I hate that song. I heard it only recently. This is Texas by Beyonce. I don't like it. it. Makes me feel uncomfortable. When the time is right, he'll come visit. I left all my abayas there except for my jewel bag. I took that with me. Why did I change my name back? Because I, sorry, I changed my my name. My name. I changed my mind a lot of things, and I feel like more like Foodie Beauty is more my brand. You know, like it has more of a past. But so what? Everyone has a past. Shut the fuck up! I have a question. According to Heather, why did you originally upload a profile pic of you without the wedding going? And also not to mention being married, like, on a suspect toad. Okay, so, actually, yeah, I wanted to address that because I keep seeing people say that. Basically, the profile picture, um, I took it, that picture when I was in Canada last time. When I got that new sweater. And I had my ring off at the time. And I didn't think about it. You know, it happens. Like, I do that sometimes. So I did the picture. I sent it to Salah to show him the picture. And he noticed right away. He's like, no ring, you know? And I was like, oh yeah, sorry, babe. So I went and got the ring, put it on. <laughs> no, he wasn't, I made him sound rude. No, he was just like, there's no, you forgot your ring, babe, kind of thing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm doing that for dramatic effect. Anyway, so then um, I put the ring on and took another picture. So you can see that obviously they're slightly different. So I just forgot my ring in the first one. He reminded me of that and I went and put it back on. So then I changed my entire description because for, like for the Foodie Beauty, when I became Foodie Beauty again, because when I did Everyday Miriam, I wanted to be like, more about religion and you know my my journey as a revert and then that just like became like overwhelming it's like i just felt like you know judged a lot not judged a lot but like well that yes but that wasn't like the main motivator 
I guess I just kind of grew tired of it, if I'm honest. Like, it's not content that I really... It's like I missed beezing. Like, I missed, like, the foodie beauty kind of content. So I didn't put anything... And I didn't want it to have anything to do with my religion. Not very much. Like, little mentions. But not, like, a focus, you know, as a revert. Like, I wanted to keep, like, my religious beliefs private because it's really just between me and Allah, you know? So that's why I wanted to do that. Zoom. Uh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not free from Salah. Don't start bad mouthing him. Like, let's just not talk about him at all. Thank you. To me, if somebody says something and they don't, they say one thing and do another, it's because I usually change my mind on what I want to do. But it's not a lie because at the time that I proclaim that I want to do something, I have the full intention of honest intention of doing it. It's just that it's, there's some other kind of interfering hardship, whether it's my fault or it's not. It's in my control or it's not. Usually it is. Then that's irrelevant because it does. It's still not a lie. If the the honest intention was to do what you were saying, where you were going to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yes, I'm still married, okay? But my relationship, I'm going to keep like completely offline. That's why I removed it also from... I removed that and religion off of my roster in the uh, about. That's what I was talking about. Because also, mainly, you know, I like my channel, Foodie Beauty, I didn't want it to be about those things. I wanted it to just be what I put in the description. Like, you know, plus size like, shopping stuff, shopping stuff, like live stream, beezing, just beezing. I just want to bees, like basically. So, yeah, you know, it wasn't because like I broke up with him. I mean, I guess I can't blame people for wondering because, like, you don't live my life, so you don't know. So all you you have to rely on is, like, tea, you know? But no, yeah, I'm still married. If that changes, I'll let you know. I mean, you know, uh, he misses me. We miss each other. But I just have to keep thinking of, well, myself. <laughs> Selfishly, you know. <laughs> I'm not marrying Pete's, even if I was single. I'm, I'll never remarry ever. Never. If anything ever happened. I'll change, I'll change my mind. We'll see. Well, I've already changed my mind a lot of times, half like. And I'm still here, so I have to keep going. I still have toothpaste mouth. Yeah, I think I found a place, but I'm not 100% sure yet about everything. Oh, I didn't give my pets away for a man. I got married and I moved across the world. So I was planning on living a life of like travel and everything. I already went over why I couldn't bring them. Same the reason I can't bring Julia. Part of the reason. Hi, Mike. I can't scoop my glasses down. Ow, there's a bone here, you know. <laughs> I stayed home like near the end a lot. I stayed home a lot in Kuwait, but to be fair, we I also did a lot of content on the couple's channel. Where we did things, but that hasn't been in a while. That's too bad. Someone in Alex's shook chat said last week they saw you in public with Salah and you kept taking breaks and you stayed a couple feet behind you in public. Um, okay, I don't know. I mean, he walks fast sometimes. And for me, yeah, I take breaks. Depends where we go and what how I'm feeling, but yeah. How is that like a secret? How is that tea? Like, is that what you get entertained by, Blue Pot? Oh, you, you have to take breaks when you're walking. So what? Maybe it's the person that I saw at the mall with their mother. I don't know. There was like a girl who came up to me. Remember I said in my thing? But I was walking when I saw her, so that doesn't make sense. I don't know. Really, I don't. What a dumb thing to say. <laughs> I know. One side of your face looks very swollen. Um, Yeah, I have left side swollen face disorder. <laughs> See, it's, I always have boogers now. Because I'm in Canada and the air's dry. <laughs> I'm going back to Kuwait. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm stuck here. I'm stuck here now because I don't want to travel. I literally don't know if I could ever make that trip for a long time. A few months. And also because I just, I can't keep changing my mind. Like, oh my gosh. Like, what kind of freaking manic? Honestly, I've done this traveling so many times. I've changed my mind so many times. Last time I came down here, I was supposed to do exactly what I'm doing now. But no. And now I have a pain in my heart because I miss my husband. I feel really alone. Even if I have people around me, I'm going to feel alone. Because I'm alone for a certain type of, like, attention and love and I miss Julia's bad breath Thomas the tank engine shaped like a screen mask yeah there's only certain people I can live with in life obviously my husband and even then no, I'm just joking I'm kidding babe I'll give the deposit and if I just somehow something happens I'll just uh, cancel it I guess I'll get it back I'm married so there's no dating chaos and even if I ever got divorced for some reason there's no way I'm touching another male in my entire life from now on nope Nope. Gross. When I think of all the creatures I let just, like, touch me. Ew. 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 I have ick. Ew. I have ick. <laughs> okay, I'll make an Amazon wish list and no one will buy anything for me. So I don't like asking people for things anyways. I guess I can make one and just keep it there. Whoever wants to get something can. And if not, I'll just get it, like, whenever I can, you know? <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm going to go for now. This is just a short one. More walks, but not in this crap. Hell no. My sketches are frozen. Am I sad? I'm like a mix of emotions. Maybe I just want to talk them out. Like, I feel like 
without getting too personal, you know, but if I could describe the level of conflicted I feel inside myself, like I'm staying here, don't worry about it, but I'm, I'm very, sometimes, not always, sometimes I get sad. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out like how to make my life productive and f fulfilling here. It's not a facade. What makes you say that? Like, seriously, like, I don't understand the grounds. It's real. I miss my family over there. Of course I do. I spent like a year and a half getting used to that. So, but at the same time, I recognize like I need to be here right now. So what can I do? Sam will go crazy. You think so? I don't have a winter coat. It's hard seeing pictures of like Salah and Julia and Howie. <laughs> but it's also hard without, you know, things here. So I don't know what to do. Look, my live streams can't be very eventful until I just establish a life here. I just need everyone to be patient. Please. People do long distance. It's not that unusual. Yeah, but oh, you think so? I really have nothing to offer this man. He has to support himself. Like, you know, I... <sighs> it's going to be hard here for me. So I have to worry about myself and he's helping me. But, um, yeah, so he's not a scammer. I literally have nothing to offer him to scam me for. Just my love. <laughs> I just like feel insane. Like I can't keep like going back and forth and back and forth, but I can't decide like, you know. Yeah, the seller comments are getting deleted because my mods like, you know, that's why the mods like they respect me. They respect that, you know, my, my husband and the person I love, you know, even if like you don't like him, then, you know, still, it's still a respectful thing. Like, I don't know. It's like, hi then. <laughs> I'm annoying. Uh, I'm so annoying. <laughs> I feel like I have an anxiety attack. Like, for real, I'm having an anxiety attack. Why did I come here? Oh, oh I don't like sleepaway camps. I get, I get homesick. Just breathe. <laughs> Thanks, Mama Tene. Okay, tired of No, it's not a visa run. It's supposed to be a lifestyle change. Okay, let me think my rationalization. I can't. I get, I get bored easy. I don't know. Yeah, like, I can't be, yeah, I can't be fully happy in either. It's weird. Like, I can't be fully happy here, and I can't be fully happy there. There's things I'm missing in each situation. I'll, I think I'll just go back and forth until we decide, like, I don't know. I'm nervous about having him come here with me because, like, there, I feel like, I guess, like, he's, I'm, like, he takes care of me there. But me, like, I, I don't know. I would, like, be the one responsible, like, to take care of somebody, like, around a, for a weird country for them. And I, I don't know, like, you know, <laughs> it scares me. I can't travel with Sam. I keep thinking how I can do it. Like, I can't imagine how arduous the travel is. And then having to worry about a 15 pound cat. He's a big boy. Why is he so chubby? Why is he so fat and chubby? Why is he so fat and chubby? You'll see all the hot Canadian girls. What? <sighs> whatever. That doesn't like, it would hurt at first. But if like for me, whatever, if a guy like, honestly, from now on, I vow to myself, never let myself get like torn up over. If somebody does that, like, you know, if that ever happens again or anything like that sideways happens, that'll just be it. That's all. It just wasn't meant to be. We both want to travel, but like, that's the problem. We made this like whole plan, whole pact to travel and starting with Thailand, but you're, you know, you're right. If you're healthy, you're not healthy. You can't do anything hardly. So, I mean, for somebody with my health issues, I think I push myself a lot. Okay. Like be my size with my health issues, bad sciatica, bad asthma, and try one of those travel days. I'm telling you, oh my gosh, they will break you like anxiety wise <laughs> and just physically it's so hard on the body. So, but I would enjoy it more. Like, I wouldn't have to worry. Like, imagine going to your airplane gate, not having to worry about, like, you know, if how who you're going to sit beside, how fat you are. You could just fit in the seat, you know? Nothing to worry. That's, like, a huge worry right off of you. I don't know. I try not to worry about that stuff, but... Because, like, who cares? You're never going to see that person again. You just, you know... <laughs> yeah. Bye, guys. Thank you. <laughs>